Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Brussels and this the second Scientix conference. We have the pleasure to welcome more than 600 teachers, project managers, researchers and other actors involved in STEM education from over 40 countries. We also have the pleasure to welcome Scientix ambassadors and our Scientix national contact points which are with us today. During the two following days, we'll have more than 70 talks, 14 workshops, 7 round tables, 25 posters and 25 exhibition stands. Europe needs students, citizens and the workforce inside and outside education and soothed by STEM capable of making informed scientific and technological choices and interested in careers in science and ICT. And for that, we need a core group of STEM teachers who are innovative and who can make the difference to attract young students to STEM studies. And the Scientix Initiative will contribute significantly to this challenge. Welcome again to all of you for this exciting weekend, all organized around STEM challenges. Since 2007, the European Union has invested more than 90 million euro in dozens of projects, including Scientix, to raise the quality of science education in Europe. Of course, the EU is not going to tell you how or what to teach, but what we can do is help teachers, policymakers, and education experts to network and exchange ideas and best practice. And that's what this conference and Scientix is all about. You should celebrate the human values of science and their role in civilization. You can't teach science and technology without that. And without the reference of that general scientific nation in schools, in schools, is key to lifelong learning and to social adaptability. Thank you. 